What is up, everybody? My name is CTBTR, or known as Charles, and welcome back to another video. And before I start with everything else, I just want to let you guys know that episode two of Island Camp is now officially out on my own channel, and you can guys now watch the video before episode three com comes out in the next Saturday. Um, yeah, to explain that, with the Saturdays, it's going to be where Island Camp is going to be premiered, not premiered, but like episode-wise, but only the, the only time I'll do the, the premiere, it was episode ones from last, some, last Saturday, so hopefully that makes sense. But also, I want to let you guys know that soon, eventually, um, there will be more videos, somewhat like this, but but we'll get to more of those. But I will be trying to do more like, you know, more vlogging based on the channel if I rather say that. Also, I do want to say is that if you haven't watched the entirety of Island Camp, Island Camp as of right now, there's only two episodes. And you, if you want to learn by campers names, you have to make sure you watch episode one or you just go to a video which is the campers revealed yeah campers revealed or or that's that's all i have right there but if you already watched episode one make sure you watch episode two to see what happens who was by the way to everybody's uh to anybody's opinion or rather question wise of their answer who was the first camper out and I'll just check back in even though this video is not gonna do as much but I wanted to make sure that it's properly answered I want to make sure that's out and um, yeah so now let's get on to the review Definitely, it's actually two reviews so here we are with my newest setup I ever done this table looks amazing <laughs> Um, the first thing I want to say is that there's a lot of changes with this new desk that came into play, and I'll explain that. Starting with the cords that you see down here is where all the plugins will be, including my own charger right here. Um, uh, we got these two plugins right here, which is my PC's plugin. It won't do it properly, but you definitely can see it. So it has my PC's plugin, it has the plugin for something a little bit later, keep that in mind. And then you've got these all these cords got all jumbled up and you've got wrapped around where it makes it like a cleaner, nicer um, setup instead of having them like all all like this. Now let's get on to what we hear. And then you got my PC down here, which is now finally awesome because I don't have to worry about putting it on a separate desk. And then this is where all my controllers will be. And as of right now, one of my SNES controllers is being used for the classic. Yes, this is being shown as cameo-wise. I do have a, a SNES, but not a regular SNES. This is a classic, keep that in mind. But now, moving up to here, is where my main setup will be. Starting from the right to the left, this is my main Rubik's Cube. Um, oh shoot, let me try to put it back, okay. And then I have my own bag for it, where now it's being shown as what it is. And then my supplies is right here for the box. And then this has never been shown on the channel, but this is my own Omnitrix Omniverse for Ben Tennyson and this is my own DIY of it and it looks beauty and I want to kind of like show another thing about this that the, this entire thing right here is the pad of itself or whoever you want to call it touchpad whatever you want to call it and then you got the uh, Dominatrix right here and it opens like as from the show. Also, there's there goes my fucking setup of the wall, uh, wallpaper. Um, or by screen, this way. And then I got my other two cubes 
This one right here is the Chi. This one's a like an actual Rubik's brand. And then this right away, and I forgot that I need to place this back. This right away, you guys may now know why that I like Minecraft. It's because of that. I used to have toys, especially of figures of Steve, but yet I don't know why I, well, because I was, back then I used to break things, but yeah. Except some things that's considered why that I got a new table, but that doesn't matter. Next is my JLab earbuds. Finally, they're making an appearance. And then these two controllers, we'll get to that, we'll get to them in a little bit. And then over here, and excuse, um, excuse the, based on the hair, I haven't gotten rid of the hairs off of my, he uh, my hair comb for a while. And then there's my monitor, as you can see. Then there's my keyboard and mouse. And then right here is where the GBA sits. And have you, if you guys haven't seen my GBA review, make sure you go watch that. Then there goes my webcam where I can record all the facial cam wise. But as of today, like I said, it's more of a vlog re review of my desk and something else. This is right here, my mic. And this is where I've been using my mic all this time for recordings. And then right behind them is my charging desk, um, desk pile or desk uh, charging station where this USB right here is where we get to in a minute soon um, this right here right here is actually oops and this is based on from my last review and Jesus Christ I can not try to okay this right here is my GBA charger for it in modern wise and yes I finally got it got it and then well, I didn't finally get it, but I finally... Shoot, I keep them. I finally got it for a reason to replace the old one, which I will never show it, but I may show it later. This is a charger for my headphones, which we'll get to them on the other side, which I forgot. And this is where the SNES Classics charge, or the power stop, uh, the, the power uh, AV, or whatever you want to call it, is where it's going to sit. And this is where the SNES will be. I don't know why I have a Q-tip. Don't mind that. And then this is where the HDMI for it will go. And I don't know why it's been bu budged up right here. Which, that's unfortunate. I'm going to fix that. There you go. And then lastly, over here. Excuse me by the cords. That's my own headphones where I've been using the entire time. And this is my Bluetooth headphones right here. That was been shown for my costume for my CTBTR, you know, Stunner Bronzer before I changed everything. But now he's called by a CL, so keep that in mind. And now, the last thing is before we get to this, I know you guys are looking at this, this is awesome, but we'll get to that soon. This right here is where all the controls will be. This is for my. Oh, shoot. You guys have seen this so many times, but this, wait, or seen it a couple of times actually. This is where I get to change the coloring for my own uh, setup of this. But I want to keep keep that white. Same thing from here, which now it's going to be shown. Yeah, which is awesome. <laughs> so I've seen these a. A lot and my, my second older brother did actually got it the same similar way for his own desk but it's a little bit different mine's like this is like short Oops, his is like short but then it's tall for his so keep that in mind also I can still do the changes of the colors but I want to keep it at white so that is the main purpose Ooh, wait. There we go. And now let's get into this bad boy. Now behold, this newest creation I have ever done, but this is part of the expansion of the entirety of my own rebrand of the channel. And I haven't done this 
as a review, but now it is. But this is my latest creation of dual discs I've been doing for a long time, which is the Dark Side of Dimension dual disc. Look at this masterpiece. So, to explain what the Dark Side of Dimension, Dark Side of Dimensions dual disc is, it's based off from the Dark Side of Dimensions movie. And by the way, I want to let everybody know, it is not canon to the anime verse. Yes, I'm hearing you're hearing this right. It is not ca canon to the anime verse. It's canon to the manga verse. If you guys have read the manga stuff of Yu -Gi of Yu-Gi-Oh as a whole, some of the of the manga of the versions of these shows is very off. But one that makes sense is the dual monsters. So with this dual disc. Right here, I just place it on, is where I put the strap. It's with I, it's combined with the strap of like, fit gear, whatever you want to do for like, exercising. Then it's combined with these cardboard pieces that I, use, I was using for like, an Omnitrix, but then I decided to not do. And this is where it gets connected, which I'll have to show closer. This is where the pieces, of them where it usually used to be all together but now split to make this more um comfortable from under and, and from the inside too and now i'm gonna try to put this back on and show you guys how it works so as what is shown from dark sense dimensions the orb for yugi's dual, dual disc is pretty much the graveyard i'm not too sure about that i am completely wrong about that but i'm not too sure but what i did is actually you guys can see it this is where the graveyard would sit it usually from the original dual disc that everybody should know used to be going to the front this time i placed it in the back of it or somewhat in the front back right here and then this is where the deck will sit as usually but it, and look at this it has my own name onto the actual dual disc of itself and also the design of this it should have been a lot better but this this is fine. And then you got all the monster fields right here. Exactly how it's supposed to be for the from Yugi's dual disc. And then these are where the cards will sit, which I'll give it as an example. Let me see. I got the Light Sworn Warrior. So if I place it on like defense mode, it will sit like that. But if I want to put it in attack mode, let me put it in a different spot. You have to like, sl I have to like slightly move it and I'm damaging the card. Great. Um, but you get the picture. It will sit like a, as a an attack. But then the one thing is on the back of it, as it's shown, this is where all the face down cards will be as an example, which I'll place it, I will place it wrong for the monster card. But prom promise that this is not an error. It's how it's supposed to be played. And there's a reason why I placed it like this instead of where the original dual disc will be. It is because I can't place them right here because it's gonna end up go against the entirety of your base right here. So what I did is kind of revert that and make it where it's more easier to control to kind of get your cards out from this way. Also, I also place, as I mentioned, this is where the field spell will go. So it would be like this as an example, sticking it out and it makes it easier to kind of like grab. But also I want to put this as a way I want to say it. This this is where the card will sit in the, in the whole entire uh, portion of the deck as well as from the graveyard so it, it will sit in there but if I take it but if I take it out sometimes it can't drop out but if I take it out there it is it's perfect so yeah overall this is basically a brand new start of these kind of things and like I said I have shown the Omnitrix but I want to show it again now making its own appearance and it, it doesn't look great uh, it's now making its appearance again. It's been appeared. I'll say it's, it's been appeared on one of my very first first uh, posts on Instagram. And yes, and I'm deeply saying 
and also as of right now I'm recording this video, I have posted, after you guys watched the two episodes I put this out, did the Fun Begins two part episodes where it's the starting of the kickoff of the entirety of Island Camp worked. Alright, did it, was it, I'll say this in here, was it really good, was it very interesting of the start, how did it make it a little bit better for for uh, the channel to have something that's more original. Let me know from the opinions on Instagram. It's on the story and I'll put it on, on a highlight. Maybe I did, I'm not too sure, but I'll check back. But it is placed there and you can guys can actually write it down, give opinions about it. That's all you have to do. Now that's pretty much it. This is the video I wanted to do. Just to show off my own new desk as well as the brand new doodles that I have been wanting to do all this time. But also I do have some iterations, which these ones are the ARC 5 kind of placements. And I was trying to do like this. This is all I was talking about. I was thinking of doing like this, but wherever I put it in like a, uh, insert this, this is a different way. I have a different doodle list, but it's a different way of placing your fields and wherever you want to do it wherever you want to place it and you know but the problem with that is when I was trying to do the face downs from the back it didn't work right it didn't work right I meant to say so that's why I managed to do this iteration where this is supposed to look like that even though like it, like I said this is actually my own dual disc okay it doesn't have to be like the actual dark side of the dimension dual disc or any other dual disc for that matter what I made but yet that is pretty much it Hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. And please, please make sure to, to basically send this and share a friend to anybody that you know about this video. And other than that, thank you guys for watching this video. And I'll see you guys. I'll say, I'll say this like in the next few weeks. But also I want to mention, I forgot one thing to say. I haven't went to the... Uh, a, a, a dentist appointment for my uh, big cavity yet I'll update you guys that in the next month so so yeah I forgot to mention one thing I did say it within the video but after the story of where it has the question and where you guys can actually respond about the two episodes within Island Camp, I want to say this is that once it's not on within my own story profile wise, it is in the highlights of ICS1, which is Island Camp Season 1. So I just wanted to point that out and I want to say this, stay fresh everybody and have a great day.